Hello, I'm Rob Westervelt, editor of Chemical Week, welcoming you to the 2019 GPCA Forum. And I'm delighted to be joined today by Udo Hunger, who is Vice President Middle East for BASF. Udo, thanks for joining us today. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah, BASF Executive Board Member Sally Duberg uh, spoke about BASF's change in strategy, moving to a more collaborative model to sustainable growth. How is BASF going to apply that in the Middle East? If you look at the chemical industry in general, or the industry in general, we believe that in the past we've basically missed a certain point how we can actually contribute to society. Um, we're an integral part of the society and there's so much value that we as a chemical industry can bring, not only here in the Middle East, but globally. There are, I think, roughly 120 million jobs in the chemical industry. Um, we're employing lots of people, but we're at the moment, as I already said, disregarding what value we bring by employing people, educating people, training people. So there's so much more that we have to look at if we're steering our companies and our strategy, implementing our strategies for the chemical industry. So our new strategy basically focuses, of course, still on the profits that we bring to our shareholders, very important, but we also add on additional things like the value that we bring to society. If it's carbon management, if it's circular economy, or employing the right people, educating the right people, and then contributing to um, basically the economies and the societies. And in a region like the Middle East where uh, you don't have the verboon sites, does that make it more challenging to uh, address those goals? Or? I personally believe not because um, we had a discussion yesterday on value parks as well and I think um, there are lots of value parks around. You just have to find the right environment where you can thrive with your with your um, strategic targets, strategic goals, and really implement that in the, in the overall structure. Um, especially in the Middle East, we believe there are also lots of advantages that you don't have anywhere else. For example, there are lots of companies here. You have certain feedstocks that you get your hands on here easier than somewhere else. There is a lot of drive of innovation. If you look at the Vision 2030, there's so much that the government in Saudi, for example, or also you can look at ICV um, in UAE, there's so many things that the governments do to implement Im innovation, educate the right people, bringing in renewable energies, Al Maktoum Solar Park is one example here in Dubai. So I think if the environment is right, the Middle East could actually be one of the spots where we could thrive with our new strategy. And strategically, um what does the Middle East, uh, what's the focus for BSF in the Middle East? I know you have a, a significant plastics presence, obviously mm -hmm. construction chemicals, um, some ag presence, and uh, strategically, what role does Middle East play for a bit BASF, and, and how do you see that changing going forward? So uh, if you look at the Middle East, I said that yesterday in my presentation, if you look at the population, the population growth, it's a huge market. Um, I think what we currently all struggle with is the political dimension at the moment, um, once that is settled, there is huge potential here. So for us, the Middle East has always been um, in the focus and very important. We've been here, I think, we've opened up our first office in 1973. That was before I was born, even. Um, and from then, we actually increase our presence here. Um, we have a very strong partner, joint ventures with the Canoe Group. Um, we have offices in Saudi Arabia, two offices here in UAE production facility in Bahrain. So there are lots of construction chemicals sites that we have basically in every country. We have one construction chemicals production plant, sometimes more. So there is a lot of present, but we actually want to improve it. And we are currently and continuously evaluating where these sweet spots could be. And I personally believe that at the moment, with all the changes that we see and the um, new strategy that we have as BSF, there's, a, there's actually a good point in time to, to run these evaluations. Udo, thanks for joining us. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much.